Edi ni edi eche yamampeni akache nana adu dangwa ekufu adu edi atu ija awoche se COVID-19 ebre muno adie bakwa ewose bima itimi eye ene se yankase ibetimi ayiri ye hon na ini mbiya hudwa ikura ye no ibetimi edi abuwa ane diya ye no ma hudwa na edi abu ye hon ba na se yesu ya atrade edie enkwa fwa amansu di bibiribe no enya di ibetimi abuwa ye wadi ensemu ye etu ija wabra iku wasafom wamo so edi omu virtual summit edi she suwa omampeni ekasaye President of Ghana, please. You have the floor, sir. I'd like to briefly share with you Ghana's experience in responding to this COVID-19 threat. But before doing so, take the opportunity also to extend to President Buhari of, Ni of Nigeria and President Kombe of Guinea on the loss of key aids of theirs to, to, this, to this pandemic. Firstly, an all Ghana approach, because we recognize that this is not uh, a disease, a threat that can be dealt with only by government. We need to mobilize all the social forces in our country to be able to do so. We're calling upon religious, traditional, uh, academic, scientific, political, and civil societies all to come together in an organa approach to deal with the threat. We discovered very early on that virtually all the cases of infections we had in Ghana came from travelers into Ghana. So initially we banned travelers from the epicenters from coming and finally we ended up by locking our borders completely. And it has, it has, it has proved to be uh, an, an important tool for us because it's prevented a lot of people who were infected from coming to the country. We saw this where we quarantined all the, uh, the travelers who came at the time of, of the closure of our borders. Clearly, a major challenge has been providing adequate, for the, adequate care for the sick. The strength of our public health system has been seriously exposed by this pandemic. And the need from from years of neglect and of underinvestment in our public health system. So that is a major con con concern of ours, raising the necessary funds to strengthen our public health system and making that one of the legacies of this pandemic. And finally, I think it is very, very important that we tailor a Ghanaian, a specifically Ghanaian African response to the handling of this pandemic and not necessarily copy blindly the methods and, uh, that are being adopted in countries to the north of us and, and elsewhere. For instance, uh, our scientists are very engaged in pushing forward the African manufacturing uh, vaccine manufacturing initiative. Indeed, there is a, a Ghanaian scientist is the chair of the, of, 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 of the board of those who are uh, promoting it. We want to get to the uh, the, so the possibility that we can produce a peculiarly African vaccine to deal with the problem because the mutation of the virus in the various parts of the world is different. So we need to have our own way of, uh, of responding to it. Mr. Mr. Chairman, um, I want to commend you very strongly for the initiative of this virtual summit. It's the first in the history of our organization. And for and to the chairperson of the of the commission, uh, the president of the commission, and his and his his commissioners for the excellent work they did in preparing very high quality papers for our consideration. Thank you very much for the opportunity to participate in this summit.